Fritz. Battletech Solo. Thoughts? Have you ever given it a try? What do you think about implementing this on the tabletop? A very, very interesting tactical question because I have given this some thought. And uh, some time ago, a couple of years ago, when I was trying out different lance combinations with combined arms, I, I put together a little bit of a solo AI type system, something that was fast, easy to implement. And the ultimate idea of it was to just try and create create some random, create some, some random on the table that I would have to adapt with, play against, and, and try out these different combinations. So let's take a look at some of those ideas if we were going to implement Battletech Solo. And I'm going to share my experience that maybe you guys can bolt into your own AI system. We're in the golden age of Battletech. Catalyst plastics, Ironwind metals, 3D printing, source books. Some of us, I thought my collection was beast mode. I thought my collection was, was out of control. Awesome. I've seen a lot of new collections. Fantastic, fantastic mechs. So let's jump in and let's see what we can do. The first thing that I noticed was I needed to play on one hex map. One hex map. I needed to keep things contained because the AI part of the lance, I, I, I wanted it and I needed it to interact with each other. I didn't want some mech in the AI just like running off three or four hex maps and, and running away and never recovering. Or I wanted that synergy. I wanted that artificial synergy to force us to come to blows. And there were a couple of AI pieces that I wanted to implement that I wanted to make sure it happened. Now, playing on one hex map, you can play on one hex map. You can play on multiples. I think many of us play on a slightly larger scale. It does change things on one hex map, but, but I found that to be the best result. Keep it concentrated, keep it mixed up, and, and force really head-to-head -head in that simulation. The next part was I broke it down by light, medium, heavy, and assault. And I made up a little 2D6 AI for each of those mechs, thinking about the weight class, thinking about the weapons and how it would operate. So for example, a light mech uh, rolling two, three, four, or five might be stay at long range, stay out of distance, and try to fire a long range weapon. Uh, six, seven, eight, or nine might be try to close on the left, try to close on the right. Um, trying to stay away, trying to move and stay away, and trying to stay at range to shoot to skirmish. Working in with mediums, see what that can happen. Assault mechs were a little bit easier and heavy mechs were a little bit easier. Uh, a lot of the two, three, four, five on a 2D6. And I made a 2D6, uh, certainly mathematically, I just made a 2D6 because I had Battletech, 2D6, and I had little cards of, of what to do. Assault mechs would try to advance and stay at optimal firing range. And optimal firing range was where they could get the most weapons in range and sort of manage the heat. And, and sometimes I'd have stuff like um, optimal range, you know, uh, five, optimal range and fire. Six, optimal range, fire everything, no heat management, right? This, this idea of sometimes it would push the heat and, and see what we can do. Alternatively, um, it might be like advance and fire. Advance, fire, try to get into close combat, right? Try to get into punch kick on, on maybe a 10 or 11 or a 12 or 11 or 12. And if for some reason I couldn't execute that command, then I would reroll or I'd see where I could do and what I could do next. The idea was just, just to have these mechs randomly running around fighting me. Now also, so they're not working together as a lance. I mean, you kind of got four individual pieces moving around. And again, not coordinating it as a lance, it was sort of coordinated because we're artificially set on one hex map. So those mechs are going to have overlapping fields of fire. Um, there was a target priority where it's like, okay, if, I, if I'm a heavy mech and I can shoot multiple weapons, is there a light mech in range? In my lance, then take that shot. Is there your medium? Is it an assault? Is it a heavy? So we worked through that. Uh, the other aspect to make things kind of interesting, I played with initially hidden setup. And, and I pulled a little bit of this from uh, Chain of Command. Just on a side note, I've pushed up to my archive here under the Chain of Command videos, uh, Chain of Command rule set for deployment and stuff, if, if you want to be inspired uh, for these ideas. Chain of Command, fantastic rule set. Deployment is hidden based off on jump-off points. The idea being that there's these points on the map 
that units are hidden. And at the start of the battle, you, you really don't know what's there. So you put down a little flag marker on the other side of the hill. You know there's something behind there, but you don't know what. Is it a Tiger tank? Is it infantry? Is it a mortar team? Is it nothing? There's possibilities. I would put these pieces down, these, these markers down, or I just would write the location of the hex map. And the idea would be there is a mech behind there. I don't know what mech yet. When I advance my lance and I come into field of view, you know, we got our scanners going. I know there's a mech there. I've got the fusion reactor. I've got the sensors. When I move into field of view, then I would place down a mech. Now, what mech do I place down? What mech do I place down? Sometimes it would be, you know, I want to fight against these mechs and see what they can do. I've been thinking about playing a, a rifleman more. You know, let me put down two riflemans in the AI and, and just, just see what it does, right? Ch check it out that way. So I was using this AI as a way to test out lances and, and build that. But equally so, you've got a massive collection. You could take your technical readout sheets, put 20 sheets, mix them up. Deck of cards, right? Mix them up. Put them face down. You move into an area where there's a blip. You've got line of sight. A mech deploys, and maybe maybe it's more than one mech. Maybe there's more than one hanging there. Maybe you roll a, a D6 and it's a D3. You know, one to two is one. Uh, three to four is two. Five to six is three. And you put down three mechs there, and you just pull from the sheet. Pull like, okay, let me pull out an assault mech. Oh, it's a Cyclops. Oh, it's a, a Banshee. You know, let me pull out a light mech. So you could also incorporate that, like, wow moment where I'm in trouble. There's some dangerous pulls here. This Lance was hiding out. They're powering up. I'm in trouble, right? Exploring the collection from that perspective. So I tried to inject also a little bit of random, um, just essentially to create as much tabletop chaos as I could, testing out my Lance ideas.